Minnesota lawmakers are taking up an issue that's been heating up across the country. Right now, there are no laws regulating online fantasy sports betting in Minnesota, but lawmakers are considering a bill that would legalize the kind of betting where fans pay a fee to play. New York's Attorney General shut down pay for prize daily betting on sites like FanDuel and DraftKings in that state. You're seeing on the screen here some of the ideas being floated for a new law in Minnesota that would put restrictions but allow this kind of sports betting. Let's start with this. The main question legally here is whether fantasy sports betting is gambling. Jen, to you, does this feel like gambling or does it feel like something else? You know, me, it does feel like gambling because you're, it's money. You're exchanging money and you are trying to win by kind of placing a bet on a, whatever fantasy sport you're looking at. So, yeah. they're God, trying to does, say, the advocates are saying it's in between yeah. what is illegal, mm -hmm. betting on sports, right. and what also is illegal, which is betting on games of chance. Mm -hmm. They're saying this isn't the same as betting on a game okay. because you're assembling a team. Mm -hmm. So it's not the same as like betting on the Twins or the White Sox right. or whatever. Right. But it's also not as much a game of chance as blackjack or roulette. Right. And it still smells th like gambling yeah. to me. I got to be honest. <laughs> Their yeah. argument is, look, this is entertainment. Mm -hmm. And this requires a level of skill, whereas maybe a slot machine does not. But, Jason, you said it. Uh, blackjack, poker, that's entertainment. That requires a level of skill. Um, what's the difference? There's I don't see a difference. These are businesses that found a loophole. And I don't think that this, this they found the loophole. It's not technically gambling. And I think that that frustrates some lawmakers. And now they're making a lot of money. You know, there are some questions like, can people get addicted to it? Sure. Can there be problems with it? Yes, but this is a game and there are a lot of other things that are legal with restrictions that you can also get addicted to have problems with. If you're going to legalize fantasy sports betting, mm. what is the argument to continue to make it illegal to bet on real teams? I mean, to me, if you're going to allow fantasy sports betting, you should just allow betting on sports, period. What's the difference? Huge difference, I think, in my mind, because those are actual sports players, teams that you're talking about versus something that is online. Um, but it's with real players, real teams. What's the difference? It's still it sports. I don't have a problem with sports. Different. I don't have a problem. Because, so what? Because in real sports, <laughs> what's the difference? You think about when you hear about people betting in history and, and having a team yeah. win because there's well, you money. You could ban like the it. coach and not let the coach uh, bat. Well, I don't so, know. I, I, I got to say, I'm with Jason on this one. Mm -hmm. Just when you think about the people who are really impacted by this in a negative way, it's in a big negative way. Mm -hmm. Gambling is really mm -hmm. addictive. Oh well, I'm in favor of it. I say allow all. Of it. <laughs> But no, it's already happening. What here. is the difference? I don't think there's a difference. And and if there okay. is regulation in order to protect young people, kids, let's say, from yeah. getting involved mm -hmm. in a very addictive practice, then there is no difference. Yeah. If they're going to allow it, these restrictions they're putting in makes a lot of sense. Sure. Got to be 18, 18. Can't work for one of the sports, one of the fantasy companies. Right. Yeah.